This is a recent study published and it shows lead, arsenic and other heavy metals have been found in tampons. The average woman will use nearly 11,000 tampons in her life, so this research sounds very concerning. How concerned do we need to be? Dr. Sonia Rashid from the Florida Poison Information Center in Jacksonville is here to add some context to the issue. Good morning to you. Thanks so Good much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So tampons are something that not all women use, but some women use. And you hear this and you're thinking, well, what am I putting into my body and yeah. what kind of consequences will there be? Just to give a little breakdown here on this study, they found 16 metals in one brand of tampons. They didn't mm -hmm. disclose which tampons they were. And they didn't find all 16 metals in all of them, but they found in most of them. Okay, so, you know, what's going on here? Where, where's this heavy metal coming from? So, unfortunately, heavy metals are present in our everyday environment, and they are in tons of products that we use. They're naturally occurring in water. There are very, very small levels in our own drinking water, our personal care products. So it, it's unavoidable because when we're manufacturing products, you're going to have some level of metal contamination. So we're talking things like lead, arsenic mm -hmm. okay and we're putting these in a very sensitive part of our body so is that calling for a higher absorption rate into our bloodstream as opposed to if it was on our clothing so the um area in the, the genital area does have somewhat of a higher level of absorption just because of the way it's structured and the type of uh, mucosa, which is the outer layering, um, it does absorb more. So it is going to absorb more than something that's going to be on like your skin, for instance. Has there been any study showing that that absorption rate can cause any type of health uh, problems for somebody who uses this product? There have not been any studies that show the acute or long-term effects of having these types of exposures. Um, so I think right now we just need to do a bit more research to see exactly how much of these products are being contaminated with heavy metals, just because right now it's very uncertain about what the long-term consequences are. Okay, there, there are organic tampons that are come onto the market now. Are those any safer than the non-organic ones? In general, it's just a term organic versus not organic. Um, and so to me, I don't really think that it really is much of a difference just because in that study, there was heavy metal contamination in both types of products. From what I understand, the difference between an organic tampon versus a non-organic is the um, non -or the organic one is all cotton. The other one is cotton and rayon. So they all have some sort of exposure from the soil where they're grown. Exactly. Okay, so there's not a peer one that's safer over another. Again, the study did not reveal which brands they use. Mm -hmm. So what is someone supposed to do here? Do they have an alternative? Well, they do have alternatives. <laughs> exactly. <we know. laughs> there's always alternatives, right? Yeah, yeah. So what should you do? I mean, let me ask you a personal question. Would yeah. you stop using them if you use them or would you can, can tell somebody stop using them as at, a doctor as an expert yeah at this point I'm going to still be using tampons just because like I said heavy metal contamination unfortunately is present in our all of our lives and so just you know being scared of these types of things I don't really think does much for a person so for me I don't really think it's something to be so overtly concerned about it's something to be aware about and that's why I think that there should be further studies but at this point I don't think someone should be changing their everyday life just because of this study okay thank you so much yeah. for and thank you for letting me ask you that question yeah no problem <laughs> <laughs> as always if you have a question or concern on any poisoning related subject call the poison helpline uh, it's 1-800-222-1222 appreciate it